WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny and pleasant Delray Beach, Florida, with your 2 p.m. update. Currently, we have a bit of a mixed bag out here. You've got the Dow up 91 points. The S&P just turned slightly positive, and the Dow transports are trading up 87 points. The Nasdaq is off 109. That's 7 tenths percent. Russell's down 20. That's 1 percent. The semi's off 1 and 3 tenths percent, or 45 points. You've got gold trading out of 1936.60. That's up 14 bucks. Silver has turned just slightly positive, up 7 cents. She's trade at 25.26. Light sweet crude back 92 cents. 109.68 is the print there in the 30-year Treasury. Trade out 156.20. That is four ticks to the upside. So let's go take a look at our indice charts. I don't think we've done this for a few days out here. So let's get to those and see what kind of signal information they are providing you and I. And we begin by taking a look at the Dow Jones in the upper left-hand panel. What we can see here is a nice TD nine count bottom. We see a nice Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. And right now, prices above its red oscillator and change line. This could be day number two above that level. That level, by the way, is 33,325. I take that back. That that level is 33,774. If price closes above that today, the signal is its intention to try to make a move to 35,431, the TD9 breakdown level. In the case of the S&P 500, it is also above its oscillator and change line. A close today above 43,34 suggests a ride up to 4526. At least that's what it would like to do. The NASDAQ 100 has been above its red oscillator and change line for the last five trading sessions, signaling that it would really like to get to 14,760, but it's got some issues that it's dealing with, not that it can't resolve those. And in the Russell 2000, it has also been above its red oscillator and change line. Its real target right now is uh, the bearish evening star candle up at the 20, 2085 level. Price can get above that. Then you'd be looking at 2210. Now, the socks, which are pulling back the strongest today, or at least as we speak right now, they're back a one and a quarter percent. It's been nothing more than a test, and right now, rejection of that oscillator and change line, and therefore, price here wants to continue higher. The transports are now breaking above their TD9 count breakdown level, 15,420. So that's a bullish mood move, and that suggests that it, too, wants higher price. Now, the higher price may only be out here to the bearish resistance level of 15,757. That's what's going on. We take a look at the indices. Folks, stay tuned. You've got your favorite polar bear, David White. He's up next. Tom Brian. he'll take us on home from 3 to 4, and I'll be back with you tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Have a terrific Thursday. Be safe out there. Look forward to seeing you again soon.